kids are always interested when they're young and the more opportunities you can get like this opportunity of being out today, glorious weather, out in the fresh air, seeing nature. The children have been able to have a look at the birds, talk to experts. Uh, one of our little boys is particularly was really keen when they were feeding the birds at the back of the ship. You're normally just sitting in a classroom reading about all the stuff when now you can actually see it. I didn't know half of the birds that were in that book. We're just slightly bringing a number of birds to follow us out into the river. We're also talking about the coast, the sand dunes that are out there. Depending on which time you come out, the tide moves up and down to so be able to see the mud flats, the feeding zones that lots of birds use. The Eco Cruise is part of a, of a big European project called Climb Atlantic, which is European Union funded. The overall aim of that project is to try and reduce the carbon footprint above the Atlantic Arc. So this is one of the ways of teaching children all about climate change and issues which affect them. We well, have lots of interesting questions about, you know, why some of the birds are different colours, why they're different shapes. And it's all about trying to get those inquisitive minds working and trying to find out new reasons for why. There was like one at the beginning and then there was about 550 of them came in and like one of them. There's that many you can't count. <laughs> We were having a guess about how heavy we think they are and I was I said two tons and we found out that they were eight hundred tons each. You can only learn so much from a textbook or from a video clip. Children learn much better when they've got first hand experience of something. These are really important areas that just need our kids to understand the damage that we have done to them and how we try to protect them. <laughs>